Occupational Lung Disease, Wikipedia Article Audio Occupational lung diseases are occupational diseases affecting the respiratory system, including occupational asthma, black lung disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, mesothelioma, and silicosis. Infectious lung diseases can also be acquired in an occupational context. Exposure to substances like flock and silica can cause fibrosing lung disease, whereas exposure to carcinogens like asbestos and beryllium can cause lung cancer. Occupational cases of interstitial lung disease may be misdiagnosed as COPD, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or a myriad of other diseases, leading to a delay in identification of the causative agent. Types of Occupational Lung Diseases Asbestosis Asthma Coal Workers Pneumoconiosis COPD Indium Lung Mesothelioma Silofillers Disease Silicosis World Trade Center Lung Occupational environmental exposure Arsenic Asbestos BCME Beryllium Cadmium Chromium Coal dust Diesel exhaust Flock Nanoparticles Nickel Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons Silica Tobacco smoke Infectious exposure Asbestosis is a fibrosing interstitial lung disease caused by exposure to forms of the mineral asbestos. Influenza Tuberculosis Asthma is a respiratory disease that can begin or worsen due to exposure at work and is characterized by episodic narrowing of the respiratory tract. Occupational asthma has a variety of causes, including sensitization to a specific substance, causing an allergic response, or a reaction to an irritant that is inhaled in the workplace. Exposure to various substances can also worsen pre-existing asthma. People who work in isocyanate manufacturing, who use latex gloves, or who work in an indoor office environment are at higher risk for occupational asthma than the average U.S. worker. Approximately 2 million people in the U.S. have occupational asthma. Examples Coal workers' pneumoconiosis, also called black lung disease, is an interstitial lung disease caused by long-term exposure to coal dust. Symptoms include shortness of breath and lowered pulmonary function. It can be fatal when advanced. Between 1970 to 1974, Prevalence of CWP among U.S. coal miners who had worked over 25 years was 32 percent, the same group saw a prevalence of 9 percent in 2005 to 2006. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a respiratory disease that can encompass chronic bronchitis and slash or emphysema. 15% of the cases of COPD in the United States can be attributed to occupational exposure, including exposure to silica and coal dust. People who work in mining, construction, manufacturing, building, and utilities are at higher risk for COPD than the average U.S. worker. Indium lung is an interstitial lung disease caused by occupational exposure to indium tin oxide. Mesothelioma is a cancer of the mesothelium, part of which is the pleura, the lining of the lungs. Mesothelioma is caused by exposure to asbestos. Silofillers disease results from inhalation of nitrogen dioxide gas from fresh silage. The presentation is variable depending on level of exposure. 
Often the gas penetrates throughout the lung and if severe can manifest as a form of acute respiratory distress syndrome, such as significant pulmonary edema, hyalinized alveolar membranes, congestion, and other respiratory illnesses. Silicosis is a fibrosing interstitial lung disease caused by inhaling fine particles of silica, most commonly in the form of quartz or cristobalite. Short-term exposures of large amounts of silica or long-term exposure of lower levels of silica can cause silicosis. In 1968, more than 1,060 U.S. workers died of silicosis, this number fell to 170 by 2005. World Trade Center lung is a cluster of diseases caused by exposure to fallout at ground zero of the September 11th attacks in 2001. These diseases include asthma, asthmatic bronchitis, terminal airways disease, sarcoidosis, and acute eosinophilic pneumonia. Arsenic is classified as an IARC Group 1 carcinogen and is a cause of lung cancer. Workers can be exposed to arsenic through work with some pesticides or in copper smelting. Asbestos is a mineral which was extensively used in the United States to fireproof buildings and textiles, among other items, in the 1950s to 1980s. Workers are frequently exposed to asbestos during demolition and renovation work, which can cause asbestosis and slash or mesothelioma. Asbestos exposure can also cause pleural effusion, diffuse pleural fibrosis, pleural plagues, and non-mesothelioma lung cancer. Smoking greatly increases the lung cancer risk of asbestos exposure. BCME ether is associated with small cell lung cancer in workers who have been exposed. Exposure can occur via direct manufacture of BCME or its presence as a byproduct. Beryllium is classified as an IARC Group 1 carcinogen and is used in a wide variety of industries. Those who are manufacturing workers, dental technicians, machinists, jewelers, plumbers, electricians, precious metal reclamation workers, and welders are at risk for beryllium exposure. Cadmium is classified as an IARC Group 1 carcinogen and it is a cause of several cancers, including lung cancer. Workers can be exposed to cadmium through welding, zinc smelting, copper smelting, lead smelting, electroplating, battery manufacture, plastics manufacture, and in alloying. Chromium is classified as an IARC Group 1 carcinogen and is linked to lung cancer. Workers can be exposed to chromium via welding, steel manufacturing, pigment slash dye manufacturing, and electroplating. Exposure to coal dust is the cause of coal workers' pneumoconiosis. It can also exacerbate or cause COPD. Diesel exhaust contains a variety of gaseous and particulate chemicals, including soot, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and other known carcinogens. Flocking is the technique of adding small pieces of nylon or other material to a backing, usually a textile, to create a contrasting texture. Inhalation of flock can cause flock workers' lung. The high surface area to volume ratio of nanoparticles may make them an inhalation hazard for workers exposed to them. This is a topic of ongoing research as of 2015. Nickel is classified by the IARC as a Group 1 carcinogen. Nickel compound exposure is associated with nasal cancer as well as lung cancer. Workers may be exposed to nickel in machining slash grinding industry, nickel extraction slash production, welding, and electroplating. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, fused ring chemicals formed during the combustion of fossil fuels, 
are metabolized by the cytochrome P450 complex to highly reactive carbocations, which can mutate DNA and cause cancer. Workers may be exposed to pause while working in a foundry, in the roofing industry, or due to environmental tobacco smoke. Besides causing silicosis, inhalation of silica can cause or exacerbate COPD. It can also impair lung function in general and cause cancer by oxidation damage. It is classified as a known human carcinogen by the IARC. Exposure is common for people working in tunneling, quarrying, construction, sandblasting, roadway repair, mining, and foundry work. Tobacco smoke is a known carcinogen. Workers in the hospitality industry may be exposed to tobacco smoke in the workplace, especially in environments like casinos and bars restaurants. Healthcare professionals are at risk of occupational influenza exposure. During a pandemic influenza, anyone in a close environment is at risk, including those in an office environment. Tuberculosis is a lung disease endemic in many parts of the world. Healthcare professionals and prison guards are at high risk for occupational exposure to tuberculosis since they work with populations with high rates of the disease.